These felt tip pens were used kind of by graphic designers, maybe like two or three generations older than I am. And you know, before the computer, it was like the way of, of making an image. But my generation doesn't really have the skill to use them in the way that you know, the older generation does. But I became fascinated with them and there's always been this, you know, there's a special paper designed for these pens called a, a layout pad, which allows the ink to just go through the one surface. It, it doesn't go through the page. But I found if you use them on regular photocopy paper, then you can make a drawing and then the drawing will bleed through one sheet onto the next sheet. Because I don't make drawings, I wanted to find a way of of making marks but without the subjectivity of, of moving the pen across the page. And the work that's been made in the gallery is kind of an extension of that because rather than turning the pen kind of in its correct orientation, the pens are now stood upright on the table. So the tips are kind of in the air. So it's a way that you would never really see a pen working. What is happening is that the paper is acting like a wick. So it's, it's wicking the ink um, from the reservoir inside the pen and it's kind of drawing the ink upwards. And I think the, the dots that are created with the pen being in this orientation are slightly different. I think the ink doesn't release as quickly as it does when it's in its normal position. So the, the, the dots kind of grow more slowly and I think the colour in the ink is a bit more intense. You know, without moving the pen, the ink kind of forms these very beautiful, delicate shapes. I think with materials, I'm, I'm kind of more fascinated by kind of very basic and humble materials or materials which are readily available. And it's taking something that's very familiar, but then presenting it in a way that gives people a surprise. They can see that you know, everyone's used a marker pen, but then to see a marker pen used in this way, it's so obvious, but uh, it's not something people have perhaps done or seen before. So it's just that simple transformation of taking this familiar object, but doing something new with it. The work in the gallery is just many kind of permutations and different experimentations just making prints using the pens in this way.